What is going on guys? Gitchy1230 here, here at my dad's property. It is very beautiful here. It is a beautiful day, pretty hot, but uh, looking around here, you can see it is a great place to be. And uh, anyways, today I wanna show you guys something that I've been wanting to show you guys for a little while. And I think it's finally time to unveil it. After enough teasing, enough waiting, I very, very gladly present to you guys what I call the beast. This is a 2006 Polaris Sportsman 800 lifted, high lifter edition. It is an absolute beast, so much so that I think its official nickname might be the beast. And so uh, today I'm gonna be taking you guys on a little riding vlog around the property here. Just kinda showing you guys around, showing you guys four-wheeler, having a good time, and I really hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, but before we hop on, I just wanna let you guys know a few things about the four-wheeler. Like I said, it is a 2006, and uh, it is, of course, the, as you can see here, high lifter edition. What that means is that it came with a factory lift kit installed. Uh, I believe it's like a three, four inch lift. And also instead of 25 inch tires, it has these awesome, massive 28 inch tires. This thing is, as I keep saying, it's, it's a beast. It's fast, got a top speed of about, I think 70 miles an hour. And uh, so far it's been an absolute blast. Up here in front, you've got all that good winch action, all that good stuff. That should be coming in handy. And in the back, we have a trailer hitch and everything. So I think what we're gonna do now, I think I've shown you guys a pretty good overall overview. I think the only thing left to do is uh, to hop on. So with all that out of the way, guys, why don't we hop on? That is for sure. So this is the woods. We are gonna be going into the woods in just a second. And in the back corner, there's kind of like a low swampy area. We're gonna run through that a few times. It's a little muddy, nothing crazy though. Before we go back into there, I just wanna show you guys some of the uh, some of the outside of the woods part of the property. Uh, so here's this little soybean. Over here, you got a mix of pumpkins, squash, gourds, all that good stuff. The word that I use for this thing is screaming fast. Cause I mean, the engine literally screams at full throttle. Uh, I, I, a lot of you guys have probably ridden four wheelers before, but if you've never rode an 800cc before, uh, they're, uh, they're just so powerful, so fast. Acceleration is ridiculous. Uh, anyways, here's some more trellises. You got anything from tomatoes to peppers to zucchinis, all that good stuff. Anything you can imagine here. My dad probably grows it. But let's move on. Whoa. Okay, so uh, let's let's continue on this way here. Whoa. All right, you know what? We might as well just go into the woods. We might as well just go into the woods. Let's do it. Oh. All right, so the entrance is down over that way. And uh, another thing that I do want to mention to you guys is that there's an entire portion of this woods unexplored by this four-wheeler so far that is separated from this half by a swamp. So we're probably going to have to go in there and there's a creek that's going to have to be dug down with a shovel. Because right now the edges are like way too steep. So we're going to have to smooth down the sides a little bit and bank them down. And then uh, we'll, we'll just save that for another video for another day. But for now, let's enter the woods here. I love it back here. It is absolutely beautiful. Very beautiful. And there's, as, uh, as I said, the swamp portion that kind of separates this woods and the following second half that you can see back there. Got a little 
sad, pathetic little tree here to run over. Sorry, tree. And uh, like I said, I'll take you guys to the swampy, muddy portion here. And it's got a nice hill with it too. Well, a little hill. Yeah, you'll see. I don't want to talk it up. I don't want to talk it up. It's down over in that corner. But uh, first, we're going to go over this way a little bit. So I know hills don't come across good on camera. This is a downhill slope, not super steep, not super steep, but enough for that, uh, ooh, that's not a great sound. That might just be the engine brake type thing. I don't know. I'll have to check fluids, check belts. Occasionally there'll be a little bit of squealing like that. Oh, oh, we're getting caught up on that stick there. So here's what's up boys. We are going for the mud pit now. And as of currently, it's not really a great mud pit, uh, mainly because a lot of the water has dried up. A few weeks ago, it was super muddy, pretty deep, and it would have been a great mud pit. Right now, it's a little muddy. There's a little bit of standing water, but not as much as there used to be. But uh, when it fills up here in a few weeks, few months, whenever, I'm thinking maybe we should have a mudding vlog where we come back and just take a few runs through it and see how the 800 uh, actually handles in the mud. So here we are getting back to it. And this is it. This is it. As you can see here, not too bad, not too bad. A little bit of standing water down there, but nothing crazy. So let's go ahead and flick on all wheel drive. And uh, there we have it. Let's see here. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, that's actually, that's thicker than I expected. Not too bad. It's been a while since I've been back here. Whoa! Nice. Oh. <laughs> oh, got a deer fly biting me. There he is. That thing was just biting my arm as I rode. All right, back down in the mud. Let's do the fun way. We are gonna go around the back, come up that hill, and then down this side of it. It's a nice, uh, nice little run. Let's see how it goes. It's a little tight through here. This is a, definitely a tight squeeze. Not a lot of uh, room for error there. That's why I like to take it slow back here. All right, here we go. Whoa. <laughs> I can't tell if I caught any air on that. It's hard to say if my front tire came up at all. Uh, it very well may have. So I know this mud is not super deep here, but uh, honestly, I'm surprised by how easily this thing just crawls right through it all. I mean, let's go down to low gear and uh, it just goes. Great traction, great power. Oh, what a beast. All right, let's shift out a low here and we're gonna have to turn around back here. Oh, oh, tree in the face, tree in the face. Oh my goodness. Jeez. Okay. All right, let's get on out of here. One more run through the, uh, the swamp here. Actually, let me take this at a different angle so that we can properly get through here. If I went through there, we would not have been able to make this turn. So we're gonna go this way so that we can make this turn. 
and let's go through it one more time. That is some thick sludge right there, boys and girls. Thick smudge. Alrighty, let's get up out of here now. There's a few more things that I want to show you guys around the property. Nothing too crazy. Uh, I just want to make sure that we can touch on a little bit of everything here in a timely manner because I don't want this video to be half an hour long, you know. I want everything to be kind of quick, digestible. So I don't want to spend too much time on just one thing. But what I would like to do is do a weekly or bi-weekly uh, four-wheeler vlog, basically, in which we do anything. It just be riding, it could be snow plowing. It could be hauling pumpkins. Uh, it could be just about anything. So we've got a world of options, but I'd like to do it, you know, either every week or every other week, uh, depending on what there is to do. So we're working our way back out of the woods here. We have not been on this trail yet. Oh, and these, these vines here make surprisingly difficult terrain. You can see that like vines go throughout this forest, all up this tree. I mean, they're just all throughout here. Here's another one. But uh, riding over them takes a surprising amount of effort from this thing. I mean, you'll see what I mean. You can tell better when you're on the machine handling it. Oh, like it is a bouncy little ride over them. Yeah, they, uh, they'll grab your ankle as you walk through them. They've definitely grabbed mine a few times. <laughs> okay, so here we are getting out of the woods. Oh, mud flying everywhere, oh my gosh. Oh. I'm gonna be dirty after this. this first four-wheeler vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys enjoy the beast as much as I do. This thing is absolutely insane. It is just a, a breeze to drive, a breeze to handle. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Tell me in the comments what you think down below. But for now, oh, I'm probably sweaty and my hair is a mess, but thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.